Hey guys, Glenn Schwarm coming to you from Signature Home Buyers. We are driving into the, the latest property we just completed. I have to tell you that we have done, Amber and I have done about 90 houses that we've bought and sold in the past four years. And this is one of the nicest, if not the nicest house we've ever done. It is in Gilderland. The address is 200 Foster Lane. Now, Foster Lane is a private road. Now, I, we're taping this on the way in, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So, as we travel down this little road, French's Mill Road, we're going to make a left here onto Foster Lane. This is, or if you own this house, would be your private road. There is a, uh, a neighbor right here on the very end, but as we drive in, and mind you, this is the not the prettiest time of year to show it. It's full of snow, but you'll get the idea as we pull in. It's a three and a half acre private lot. It's an almost 3,000 square foot home just for the top two levels with a finished basement with a four car detached garage, in ground pool, sunroom, and on and on and on. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you at the front door here. And I just wanted to give you a feel for how private it is back here. I'll meet you at the front door and we'll uh, continue the tour. See you there. All right, guys, we can't wait to show you this house over here at 200 Foster Lane. I want to just have Amber show you really quickly out here this beautiful yard. This is just the front yard. Again, this property sits on three and a half acres. I see some deer tracks here in the front yard, and uh, it's very private. The backyard's a whole other uh, huge yard and lot out there. I'm standing in front of the in-ground pool that's surrounded by landscaping. There's professional landscaping, professional um, walkway here as well. It doesn't do it justice right now because of all the snow, but hey, come on in guys. I want to show you the rest of the house. We're going to have Amber show it to you, and I'll give you a hint too. One of us is pregnant. It's kind of tough to tell which one sometimes is a toss-up, but I'll let you see when you come on in. Come on guys, check it out. Hi, I'm Amber Higgins, and the last time you saw me, my little baby bump was still in disguise, but as you can see, we've gotten a little too big to hide that anymore. Um, so in the next couple of weeks here, we'll be adding a new member to the Signature Home Buyers family. Um, speaking of families, this would be a great house for a family. You're going to see that as we, as we do the tour here. Great family house, though. Lots of room, lots of potential, lots of room to grow. This is the living room. <clears throat> Huge picture window that overlooks your front three and a half acres. Uh, gorgeous marble fireplace. There's an outlet above the fireplace to put your flat screen TV over there. And then we created this gorgeous pass-through. This was a solid wall before, but we've added this beautiful granite uh, countertop here. There's plenty of room for bar stools. Probably you fit four or five bar stools under there. We've added accent lighting. Another, another countertop on this side. This is definitely an entertaining house. Um, lots of countertop space, so if you'd like to cook, that would be great. We've even uh, made the counter overhang on this side as well, so you can put another few little bar stools over there for seat, extra seating. This house does have a breakfast nook, plus it has a formal dining room. We're going to get to that in just a second, but let me show you the kitchen first in this kitchen. You have these huge long countertops, so there's plenty of room for prepping food as well as uh, serving places. You have these beautiful cherry color cabinets, there's plenty of room for storage. There's even another closet over here that would make a great pantry, someone pointed out the other day. Microwave, built-in microwave above the stove. We have a glass top stove with a double oven for those cooks that like that. Beautiful travertine backsplash, natural stone. Side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice and water. We've even got a little glass corner cabinet over here to display your nicer china and, and wine rack. I just love the wine rack. And then we have this double bowl sink and a dishwasher. And the double bowl sink comes out into this nice peninsula. And again, there's seating on the other side as well. So let me show you the dining room and the sunroom. So I'm standing in the formal dining room right now. You could use this as a formal dining room or you could also use it um, as a second living area, living area if you don't want a formal dining room. But this is the second of the three fireplaces in this house. Nice stone. Uh, it's very authentic to this area. You probably noticed from the first couple clips of the video too that these hardwood floors go throughout this first level in the living room, the kitchen, the breakfast nook, and then here in the, here in the dining room as well. And then the dining room also leads out with those big sliding doors to a, a very nice sunroom. There's sliding doors on one side, there's another door on the other that go out to the, to the backyard. But when we bought the house, there was actually a hot tub back there. And there's some nice windows that, that go up and let in some natural light and a ceiling fan out there. So that room has a lot of potential as well. 
So on the first level, there's a very small hallway, and there's a bathroom in the center, and then there's a bedroom on either side. Um, brand new carpet, brand new paint, very warm, very inviting. Um, this room has a huge double door closet, uh, lots of you know brand new windows in the whole house. Very, very nice, very uh, spacious, lots of room to grow. And we're going to fade in some pictures of the bathroom as well. The bathroom has everything brand new, a brand new tub, a brand new toilet, brand new um, vanity and lighting and fixtures. The tile has little glass inset pieces that make it look really modern and unique. So let's head upstairs and take a look at your master suite with your in-suite bath. So the second floor is all yours. First of all, we're going to come up the steps. You'll notice a door on either side of me. We're going to fade in some pictures here. Two huge walk-in closets, his and hers, or just hers. <laughs> now let me let me take you over here to the to the doors that reach you to your master bedroom. These beautiful French doors that open up into this very spacious area. You'll notice we have a um, carpet protector down. That doesn't look the greatest in the video, but for showing purposes, it keeps everything nice and clean for you. You have this really nice bench seat that overlooks your side yard. <clears throat> There's a built-in shelving unit to house some of your keepsakes and pictures and all that good stuff. Lots of windows in here. There's another double door closet as well that opens up for extra storage. Uh, I love closet space. You can't have enough of that. And now comes a luxurious part. Come check this out. So this is luxury. We're going to start off with double vanities. Um, this one's a little bit larger, so no doubt it would be hers. <laughs> Extra drawers to put your makeup and all that good stuff in. Nice lighting in here, too. We've got two big windows and lots of um, vanity lighting and stuff like that, so that's always very nice. I love the step that leads up to the jacuzzi tub. After a long day, I could just see soaking in that and just relaxing in here, light a few candles, all that good stuff. And then over here, we have these beautiful glass doors that they're frameless as well, so for cleaning purposes, you ladies will love that. But this nice tile, there's a bench seat in here. Um, another favorite feature about this shower to me is that we have du dual shower heads. So if you're in a hurry or want a little extra romance, you can shower together and not have to have one person <laughs> hog all the hot water. And then another nice feature about this bathroom is it also has a private toilet area. So just in case this 3,000 square feet isn't enough for you, let's head down to the basement and show you what we have down there. So this is my kind of basement. I mean, there's plenty of room right here. There's, there's almost two living areas down here in this space. I think this would be a perfect space for a nice pool table, put a little built-in bar, and then you, leave, you come over here and we have this really cool brick wall with the third of the three fireplaces. Um, I think that's so cool. There's three fireplaces in this house. Again, with a nice stone, uh, stone top there. There's heat down here. It's nice and cozy and toasty. There's two bedrooms down here as well, one of which has um, his and her closets in it. And then there's also a full bath down here. We're going to fade in some pictures of those. But again, they all have everything brand new. They have you know, the new tile, the new toilets, the new mirrors and fixtures and all that good stuff. This door to my right actually um, leads up to Bilco doors too, so there is exterior access to this as well. There's two utility areas down here that house, house all of the um, mechanicals of the house as well. This area, to me, has a ton of potential. Again, you could use it for your own family. Um, it would also be a great in-law suite. Um, if, if they needed extra living area but still wanted their own privacy. Um, one of the two bedrooms, you could easily put a small kitchenette in and even rent this space out if you wanted to, too. So, again, there's lots of potential depending on your own personal family's needs. But that's kind of the tour. I'm going to turn it over to Glenn and let him wrap up. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tour of 200 Foster Lane. Guys, I tell you, when Amber and I first found this house over a year ago, we drove in the property, we saw how beautiful it was, how secluded it was, and yet so close to everything in Gildland Schools, we were that close to calling this our own home. We had just completed our, our own home, actually days before, and had just moved in, and uh, had we not done that, we would have probably called this home. So if you're somebody looking for a piece of property in Gildland, 
three and a half acres that is private, that's secluded, yet you're just a couple of miles from everything you could possibly need in Gilderland and in Albany, this would be the home for you. I want to fade in a picture now. We, there's also the four car detached garage. It's a brick garage with enough room for four cars and then some. It's an enormous garage in the property as well. Um, you have the in-ground swimming pool. We're going to fade in a picture from nicer weather and show you what that looks like. Um, again, you have a huge yard out front, a huge yard in the back, three and a half uh, secluded acres out here. We installed a brand new oil forced hot air system from Adams Heating and Air Conditioning. And uh, also air conditioning. I'm not thinking about that now because there's winter, <laughs> winter outside, but it has a brand new full HVAC system in here as well. Um, uh, certainly electrical's all been updated and everything else. It's all been done to code. And uh, if you want to see the home, we'd love to have you come out and take a look at it. It's a very unique property. One of the nicest ones, if not the nicest, we've ever done. We'd love to have you come take a look at it. And uh, go to the website right down here below, and you can kind of see a lot more pictures and uh, schedule a showing. And... Uh, if you come out and want to call it home, I think you're going to love it. So thank you guys. Have a great day.